These leaders are cut off my belly, selling out their organs, and I are still not waking up. Look, a Canadian company that was handed a massive piece of our gold field, the size of Wakanam Island, sold 57% of it days after signing an agreement with our government for 638 million US dollars. While the same government on its knees begging the US Exim Bank to borrow 646 million to help end the blackouts. <laughs> Who could be that? The company that buy in is set to fetch out more than 10 billion US, more than double the debts Guyana have at the moment. And that is only from one company sitting in our gold fields. Hmm. We are the most dangerous place ever in the history of Guyana with these sellouts, these con artists, scamps, Swindlers, rogues, misfits, incompetent, or corrupt politicians. You choose which category you want to put them in. 59 years we've been suffering from this plague of blackouts created by the PNC and the PPP, in which there is no cure in sight. And I don't know when you people will wake the so-and-so up in this country. Or what will it take for you to get out that deep sleep are you in? I really don't know. Is there a doctor somewhere, anywhere, that can give me some advice on how to get a whole nation out from a coma? Please. I have been trying for more than 30 years through the pages of the Kaicho News and Three years on this radio station, getting nowhere. Maybe, just maybe, am I doing something wrong? Any smart person out there can help me to do it the right way. Guys, every Guyanese is sitting with the winning lottery ticket in your hands value millions of US dollars. And look how are you living? Hand to mouth in blackouts. Stink water coming from the pipes year after year. And are you still silent? Running behind these parasites, parading themselves as politicians who every day selling out are you to one foreigner after another and then begging for loans. Wait, man. Am I the only one seeing this? Or am I having a nightmare? Tell me. Canadian company who get our gold fields, me and you assets free. Turn around, boasting to the world how them sell a piece for $638 million. Another Canadian company, look, it's there. Recently sold another piece of our gold land. Them also get for free. And walk away with 238 million US. Add the two. Almost 1 billion US. That money could not only end blackouts and that stink water you're drinking people but it could give every home in this country free electricity and water. You want me to push it forward? That one billion can double all the public servant salaries for two years straight. <laughs> your lottery ticket for make you and your children comfortable. Them foreigners purging with it. Thanks to these parasites that you keep on worshipping. Listen how Ashni Singh, boasting about bringing in three of the largest gold companies in the world for come take the rest of our cake and left our slaves and servants to cook, wash and clean for them.
You know how significant Omae was. Contemplate for a moment three large-scale developments, each of which is larger than Omae. Consider for a moment that each one of these will probably be employing more than a thousand Guyanese persons. Consider the food and other supplies that they will need, the transport services, the construction services, the equipment supply and maintenance services, and all of the multiplier benefits that three large-scale gold mining operations will generate in Guyana. You heard him? That's what this brilliant son of this soil telling us last year. How we must consider the domino effect with thousands of jobs and the multiplying benefits these gold companies will bring to the Guyanese people. Let me repeat, please, just in case I forget. Consider the domino effect and multiplying benefits of not only what they have walked out with from those two sale, but how much more US billions the people that buy in will walk out with in the coming years. If that one set, if that one is set to take out over 10 billion US, just imagine the figures the three largest gold companies will walk out with in the years to come. <laughs> Your assets gone, disappear, and apart from us begging at the Exim Bank, we took a line of credit the other day from India of 23, 000, 23 million to buy two planes last month. <laughs> Oh my God, if ever, let me repeat, if ever you decide to give me that right finger, God help them for what they're doing to you in this country. And please share this TikTok.